Coming up in this video, you'll learn how you can edit different kinds of photos and get pretty compelling results with just a few clicks and slider adjustments. Big results, quickly. Hey, hey, I am finally on the road again. It's been an intense couple of months, but at long last, I am on the coast of Brazil with the new camper. I will update all of you on that in another video. That's not what this video is about. This video is an educational one. It's about photo editing. Recently, I've been editing some of my photographs from India as part of an educational resource that I'm working on. Amidst this process, I received a message from Skylum, the creators of Luminar, a photo editing app. They asked if I'd be interested in creating a sponsored video about it. I was already relatively familiar with Luminar, but then I thought, well, making a whole video about it will give me a chance to get to know this app even better. Uh, I'll be able to play around, to experiment, and of course, as a result, I'll be able to share all of my findings and thoughts with all of you. So, of course, I agreed. Plus, I do think that the app has some amazing potential for travel and documentary photographers. What I did was record my screen while I edited a variety of my photos, starting with those India ones. I've explained all of my steps, all that I'm doing, so you'll get a very good idea of what Luminar is capable of very quickly. Here's a very typical kind of image that I would make back in those days of traveling around India. So it's a good example to show y'all. The very first thing I usually do in Luminar is this. Enhance AI, Accent. It kind of evens out the exposure and basically shows me what the app thinks should be done to the photograph. Now, the develop module looks very much the same as the main photo processing apps. This is where you can see all of the familiar options and sliders. In this case, I'm gonna bring down the exposure a little bit and I'm gonna increase the contrast called the smart contrast here. Next, you can see that the image has become a little dark. So I'm gonna go to this feature, Relight AI. There's brightness near, brightness far, depth, and you can see that by tweaking this slider, I'm bringing up the brightness on everything that's closer to the camera. And if I do this, well, I'll brighten the background. But I want it darker because I want this man to stand out from the background. He's looking a little dark though, right? Have no fear, because that's what this module is for. Face AI. Some of these features here, like slim face, and I'll show you real quick, enlarge eyes. These are not the features that I would use as a documentary photographer. But this, face light, this is so incredibly convenient. And iris flare, you can see what it does it brightens the irises of the eyes. Eye whitening, pretty self-explanatory. Eye enhancer just kind of makes his eyes look more alive. Look at that, before and after. Essentially, this would have been done in just seconds if I wasn't explaining to you what I was doing. And so, before and after. Before, after. Pretty crazy results if you consider that I achieved them so, so quickly. Another portrait here. And once again, enhance AI, bring up the value here, develop. I will slightly increase the exposure, smart contrast. I remember this photo was really quite striking. So I want to make it feel striking with the contrast. I'll also bring up the value in whites. And then I do remember that the scene was definitely much cooler. So I'm gonna bring down the value of temperature. Then no need for relight AI for this one. I'll just go directly to face AI and bring a little more light to the face. Iris flare, just a tiny bit, because if I overdo this, it'll look weird. So yeah, just around there. Eye whitening, yes. 
And I think the most important one in this case, in my opinion, is the eye enhancer. Check it out. It just adds that little bit more drama. And I can, actually, you can see, darken the lips if I want and brighten the teeth. In fact, I will brighten them slightly. If I want to add even more drama to this photo, there is this feature. And you see, it does look more dramatic. This is a little too dramatic. Sometimes a similar feature is called bleach bypass. And I think that it can take the drama to another level. A little more contrasty, a little more punchy. And again, within seconds from this to this. Pretty cool. Here we have an image that's quite a bit more complex, but right away there's an issue with it. There are these dust spots. Thankfully, under Essentials, Erase, there is a feature to remove them. Look at that, dust spots removed. Now I'm gonna go back to Enhance AI, zoom out, and once again, Accent AI. The app has detected the sky, so I can kind of bring more depth and color to the sky. Already looking very different. I would now like to brighten these guys in the front a little more. So, Relight AI, Brightness Near, let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, right around there. Now, I don't want these guys to be left looking kind of dark, so I will bring up the brightness in them a little bit too before and after that's already looking pretty good but i would like these two guys to be even brighter i can do that by going to develop masking mask ai and the app can actually detect the humans in this photograph here we go and now i'm going to bring up the exposure on these guys the shadows a little bit and smart contrast just to make them pop out slightly. I also do remember that this photo was made around morning time when the light was a bit more golden. And I can accentuate this golden light by going here. This image isn't technically a landscape, but it has elements of a landscape. And then there's this slider, golden hour. This is gonna be much too high, but like this, it's looking pretty good. Just a slight adjustment. Once again, so, so impressive. Very quickly, I can go from this to this. In the past, this would be much more difficult to achieve because you'd need to manually mask all the different elements. So yeah, we are in absolutely amazing times with this new generation of photo editing apps like Lumina. Also, I just love that the different features and the sliders are quite intuitive. Even the terminology is not too technical. It just all makes sense. So one more time, before, after. Another quite challenging photograph. You can see that with this one, there's quite a bit of contrast between here. This part is very bright and this part is very dark. I still do have detail here in the bright part and I definitely have detail in the darker part too. So let's see. Enhance AI and I'm going to push this slider all the way over here. And look at this. Very impressive. The contrast has already been evened out so much. I'm getting a lot of detail back here. I just love this. Now, of course, the app has detected the sky, so sky enhancer. I remember in the Himalayas, the sky is pretty blue, so check this out. Looking good. Now I want to go to the develop module and maybe just bring the exposure down a little bit, bring the contrast up a little, and it doesn't quite look the way that it should, right? But this is why we go to relight AI and raise the brightness of this area. Make these guys, who are road workers, make them brighter. Let's see. That's maybe a little too much. But like this, 
It's looking pretty good. Before and after. And you know what? I think I want to still brighten this area more so I can also do it the old fashioned way. Develop, masking, radial gradient, a very familiar tool present in most photo editing apps. And I'm just going to select this part of the frame. I like that you can do this, that this feature hasn't disappeared and it's still possible to have quite precise control of what you're adjusting with this app. And you see, I've brought them out quite nicely. Now, I feel like maybe this part of the frame is a little too bright. Again, I'm going to adjust it the old fashioned way. I have to go in and out of develop to make a new mask, masking, Linear gradient, also familiar from other photo editing apps. And I drag this out and bring down the exposure value. So again, some pretty complex stuff overall done to this photograph, but all accomplished quickly because I was able to brighten parts of the frame and fix the sky without the effect accidentally applying to the mountains and stuff like that, which can commonly happen. So this is before and this is after. Now, to me, because I have been using all kinds of photo editing apps over the years, this is, you know, pretty close to mind blowing. It's amazing to be able to achieve these results almost effortlessly. Again, before and after. Now, after working on these different India images, and you can see that there is a variety, some of them are very challenging, but then I remembered, well, I have a few other really challenging photos that I took recently in Peru. This is one of them. You can see the contrast is just crazy. It was a very tough situation with the light. And I had a very hard time editing this in Lightroom and in Capture One. So I thought, well, let me take this one into Luminar. So like with the other images, I'm going to enhance AI accent yeah it's kind of doing something but very far from what i'm going for i'll go to develop raise the exposure value a little the shadows yeah looking better but still not how i want this photo to look so i'm going to go to relight ai brightness near of course to just brighten this whole front part even better now right now, I do want to only work on his face. So, face light. I also want to make the eyes a little brighter. Make them sort of feel more alive. And I remember that he had this quite toothy smile, so I want to make his teeth brighter as well. Now, as I zoom out, I see that I could add even a little more light to his face. And I think that we're almost there, but I do feel that the man and the alpaca should stand out a little more from the rest of the frame. So I'll go to develop, masking, mask AI, human, and well, the alpaca is not human, but that's fine in this case because we want both of them to stand out. So bring up the exposure on them just a little bit, raise the smart contrast, the shadows, and Look at that. Now, I could make this image even better, even more refined by maybe brightening the hoop and the backboard and these animals here. But just think about it. This was one of the most challenging photos for me to process from all of my recent shoots. And I've gone from this to this, I don't know, in under a couple of minutes. So that kind of ability gets great marks in my books. Now, Lumina, you can see if you go through all of the different tabs and features, it has so many other features. There is much more here than I will ever need, but it is good to have some of these features just in case. The main thing for me, though, is that I can sort of get right to the point with the adjustments in a pretty intuitive way very quickly. So I've had this time, this excuse essentially, to experiment with Lumina, and I have discovered that it is pretty pretty powerful. I think that from all the apps out there, this is probably the one that can give you a, 
uh, result that is good enough for publishing in the quickest amount of time. As you've seen, just a few clicks, a few tweaks of sliders, and you get very dramatic results. But who is Luminar for? Well, quite honestly, I think that it can work for anybody who does the kind of photography that I do, travel and documentary photography. The features, the AI, and just the quickness of it all, it's very, very good. Of course, there is a learning curve, but it's pretty simple. I mean, if you've been paying attention to this video, then you pretty much already know how to use Luminar. So if I've made you interested in Luminar, then there is a link that I have included in the description below the video. It is an affiliate link, so if you register through it, if you purchase through it, you are helping out this channel. Thank you so much for your time. And now if you'd like to learn about some basic but very important principles of photo editing, I suggest that you click on the video on the screen now. It'll be very, very useful.